Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We're just gonna get right on into Turnabout Corner. We're still on the day one investigation. <sighs> we have three different cases. Phoenix got hit by a car and got an ankle sprained. As a result, he got a boo-boo. Yeah. Uh, Guy Eldoon had his pizza parlor stolen. I mean, his, his noodle, noodle stand, fan. which apparently is a fan. And Why couldn't they just call it the noodle cart? That would make it so much better. Like it would make more sense. You would so, I think it's a translation. Okay, it's cool. slightly translation. Anyways, so we could go to Hickfield Clinic, the accident scene or scene of the stand theft. Let's I want to go to the accident scene. Yeah. Yeah. June fifteenth accident scene. So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion! Feels like Chinatown or America. <laughs> America. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. I'm a little curious about the park over there, too. A nice looking. What? <laughs> this is America, not Japan. Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? This is the only new character I like. <laughs> You want something? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Whoosh. Money sounds like something my son would call his friends. I, I don't know what is this voice. <laughs> Give me like the chain smoke. Uh, oh, money money sounds... sounds like something my son would call his friends. Perfect. <laughs> this is the Kitaki family mansion, little girl. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. Uh, you, kid with the hair, you want something? <gasps> Me? No, not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But the, 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 the Kataki family, they're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. What? <laughs> if you're going to ask something, <laughs> ask it. If you're mad enough. <laughs> that is amazing. She has the sword in her broom. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yay! Way to whip him into shape, ma'am! Does she know no fear? I'm Plum, Plum Kitaki, wife of the fourth head of the Kitaki family business. <laughs> Friends call me Little Plum. Uh, I'm a li Little Apollo Justice Attorney at Law. <laughs> if looks could kill, this woman would be a mass murderer by now. <laughs> I kind of love her. <laughs> She's No, I like her. She's a great character. Just... <laughs> This is definitely America right now. <laughs> yeah. Little Plum? That's a really cute name for someone, so... Yes! Whoa! Whoa! What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh? That seems like a bit of a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. <laughs> Oh, little girl, you should know. We're gangsters. <laughs> I can't do the voice. <laughs> We're gangsters. We're gangsters. Gang. Oh! Gay. <laughs> She's imitating the voice. Gay. Oh, that means that you're bad guys. Trucy, through me, please. I'm begging you here. <laughs> the bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm going to need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect a family fortune. <laughs> Does it now, little plum? Well, we do tell. <laughs> Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So, you're saying that business is in a slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. How old is Apollo? 23? Okay. There was a car accident here last night. Last night? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about it. Sorry to bother you. Wait. Y yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. That's my daddy. <laughs> I should have known. One of our capos thought he'd make a great point man. Capo? Point man? Um, could you avoid, avoid using too much, uh, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning! Bah! Cleaning up this 
paint? How old is Little Plum? I... Otherwise, she oh. kind of... Why is he in here? <laughs> because we met him. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. I almost expected Little Plum to have, like, a... You look tense. Let, Let me, me give, give you a massage. massage. That would also work very well, too. Guy Eldoon, 46. He looks pretty good for 46, yeah. honestly. Proprietor of the noodle stand, Eldoon's Noodles, wants noodle stand found. Little Plum, uh, 42. She also looks pretty good for 42. Yeah. Wife to the fourth Kentucky family boss, busy cleaning up She looks, if she her. had, like, if she was more pixely, she'd look like the Mother Yamada a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been all the ginger. Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It was round nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? You're my husband. Or you've my husband. <laughs> you're my husband, honey. It's like, oh, that doesn't make sense. You, uh, you've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. It sounded weird the way she said that. The car that had your father knocked over this paint. That turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Please go through me when you want to! Ha 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 ha! Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy! I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. <laughs> uh, yes! Poor community-oriented gangsters, you see. <laughs> the boss likes to give back to the people, see? How noble of him. I availed myself of the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just the paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Well, see ya. You're gonna kill my voice, aren't you? Sorry, kid. I got no idea what you're talking about. Oh, that's a shame. I like the music. Yeah, it's good. There's paint splashed all over this gate. What a mess! Was this paint knocked over by the car that hit my daddy? That's right! Pfft. And I'm left to clean up the mess. If you find whoever did this, bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course, then you can make them clean up their own mess. Ha ha ha! You cute, naive, but cute. <laughs> now this is a Batman! <laughs> it's female Batman. <laughs> You're naive, but cute, little girl. Yeah. A Gotham is not safe for you. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna find whoever did this? You can bet I'll be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. <laughs> oh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I bet you do! <laughs> I'd laugh if my teeth weren't chattering so hard. There's graffiti all over the wall. A brightly painted dragon. Why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? Those paints must have been to repaint this wall. That's right. I called an artist to do the job right. He's the third so far. The... Third? First spilled paint all over the entrance here. Second on my kimono. So I... N no, don't tell me! Mm. It's better that I don't know. I was just gonna say, I fired them. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Wow, what a big house! And the gate's so big. The Kentucky family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox, it's so cute. Ah, oh, that, that's our family crest from the old country. Your family's crest? We're clever as the fox and our teeth are sharp. So it's like a motto. You need a crest too, Apollo. Oh, how about the scales of justice? Or a lunar lander? I'll pass, thanks. The fox, of course they would pick the fox. That's their e. Japanese. Who's this chick? Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? There's something about her. She looks like Jane from Tarzan. Maybe it's She's got a yellow dress, that's about hair. it. The Jane doesn't also... have a bun. She doesn't? No. She has short hair? Well, her not, hair's not up, short, so that's no. part of why. She doesn't have a bun, but she doesn't have like, short hair. It's just it's like down below her shoulders. Oh, okay. Well, she reminded me of Jane. There's something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. Well, let's talk to her. 
Looks like there's some trouble by the park gate. I smell an incident! Ma'am, there's no entry to the park! Now don't you tell me where I can't go, young fella! I always walk for this park on my way home! <laughs> Please get down from there! You'll hurt yourself, ma'am! That's quite the determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I bet they're filming the movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we'll see someone famous. Hey, miss. Stay out of the park. You got mad at me. Um, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Oh, uh, no. Move along. Nothing to see. Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not kids and we're not playing! I'm an attorney! Oh, this is you. Something wrong? Oh, Detective Sky! What? We're fine, ma'am. Why are you here? We're nothing to report. She's so old now. Wow. It's like nine years later, so yeah. Yeah, she's so pretty. I mean, she she was before anyway, but... Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? You're hardly one to comment on how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not... Or I may spill something on that pretty face of yours. Want a dose of experimental hydro... <laughs> Come again? What's hydro... stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trucy. Try to keep out uh, of the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Well, I guess good to know she's around still. Uh, how are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh, yes. That nice woman. <laughs> Why don't we ask the girl who was here for two seconds and then left? <laughs> she left. We can't. Did she, oh, did she leave? Yeah, she did. I thought she like. Did we get Emma? Yeah, we did. It's Emma Sky, detective. Apparently, a detective in a white lab coat. Apparently, in an extremely touchy mood. Mysterious woman encountered outside Ooh, the park. Oh, she's got a stink face. She seems concerned. She's got a stink face. She looks like. <laughs> she looks like if Peter Pan was a girl. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> There's a big trash can on the way in the park. I guess we could check it out. A detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. Huh? Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. These are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this, Apollo! Doesn't this go in the car? It's a side view mirror! Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Meanwhile, the or officer someone. is like, whatever. Wait, you don't think... I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off his mirror? I never knew Daddy was so strong. I only have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? We only can carry one? How is it we're able to carry, like, five? Trucy is the one carrying it. She's like, oh. I don't want to take both. Um. Which do you think sounds more important? Probably the mirror. Yep. Mirror slipped into the pocket. Okay. So. I gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Hey, I said no one goes in. Unless you want a face full of hydroxy yada what's it? <laughs> hmm, no dice. I gotta say, I'd ri oh, <laughs> nope, just the same stuff. You can't go in the van and you can't go in the park. <clears throat> Can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh, yeah. Quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago... huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. You're kidding! What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Did something happen to your house, too? A crime without honor. Without remorse. It's a private matter. Want to hear about it? Somehow, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. <laughs> oh boy. So, what happened at your house? Bloomers. Last night. Eh, I got a bad feeling about this. Me, little Plum Kataki, the victim of a panty snatcher! What?! So it wasn't just my panties that got stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? N no! Of course not! Mercy! I heard word that panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. 
It's hard to imagine Trucy's and Mrs. Kataki's panties yeah. having much in common. Let's just imagine Mrs. Kataki's panties. <laughs> I know. We'll find your bloomers, too. Great. Show me what you're made of. What have you gotten me into this time, Trucy? It's probably... A Who's this chick? She's like a pixie? That girl from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, hello, m mother. She's a Kataki too? Oh, um, miss, miss. I don't even know what she's like. Here, our flyer. The right anything agency? A anything agency? Yeah. Do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney. Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Uh, goodbye. That was not very tactful. Why did you give her our flyer? I don't know. She seemed like she could use some help. She's the heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. We got all sorts of crazy characters this time around, don't we? Yeah, always. I'm just glad Emma Sky's back. Oh, scene of the stand theft. No! <laughs> we both have the exact same idea. June 15th, seat of the stand theft. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldin's so uh, house, silly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place, a hospital? There's a sign, Maractus Clinic. Hmm, oh, that's where the theft, or the thief went. The thief? The one who snatched my panties! He ran into this clinic last night! Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties! I doubt it. Well, then there's one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Ah, there you are, Sonny. <laughs> well, you find anything yet? Um, uh, no. Not yet. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. <laughs> but I wanted to go in there and see if... We can. Aww. No worries. Oh, hang on. How much time? Have... I gotta keep an eye on the time this time. All right. We've got plenty of time. So, your stand, Eldoon's Noodles, was it? Aye, passed down from father to son. That stand's seen a share of salt, mm hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. I'll bet high blood pressure does too. <laughs> so, your stand, Eldoon's Noodles, was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, sonny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt crusted stew pot, my stain sign. I didn't just lose the stand, I lost a legend! No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? <laughs> also, I, I gotta say, Trucy's not my favorite partner, honestly. She's... She's kind of weird. Better than Emma Sky? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe? Emma Sky was so much like Maya that I was like... My uh, science. That was kind of the point, though. Yeah, but then her, I'm like, okay, at least they made Trucy a little bit different for Maya. Like, she's a weird magician, and she just does not understand social cues whatsoever. I don't really like that. Though. I don't either, but I understand it more. Are there any more details you can give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy. Happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. <laughs> the smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well... Right before 10 p.m., I reckon. I swear, if this guy doesn't make miso ramen, I'm, or shio ramen, I'm gonna be really mad. Shio ramen, salt ramen. I, he I, better I, make It's that. noodles. Well, but- They okay. don't put anything in it. It's literally just a bowl of noodles. Okay, well, it probably was changed from noodles, or from ramen to noodles. Guess he's not aiming for that late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a square to grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? <laughs> I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything? 
All my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look there on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl, my last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. That's it! That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to! It's a crying shame, that is. If they had to steal, make it my loincloth, not some pretty girl's panties. No one would want that. Yeah, nobody wants that. I don't see the appeal of stealing girls' panties either, personally. No. But... <laughs> the garage, right? You don't think the thief lives here, do you? Feh. I wouldn't put it past that good-for-nothing doctor. Hmm, do I detect a little animosity here? Let's make sure to check out that garbage thoroughly. Garage. That garbage garage. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we also gotta examine his, um... No. ...house. That's quite a sign. I take it that's no as opposed to old. Ah, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but I ran out of space. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Luckily for me, it spells a word all by itself, and it spruces up my image, does. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. This house is... well, it's old! It's been well-loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. It's got character, though. Just like my soup! I always thought that character was a positive thing. It looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money he can... Er, I'm sure he finds the best water money he can buy. Try again, Marty. I'm sure he finds the best water money he can buy. Oh. <laughs> Taste is his business, you know? Look, that sign over there. Eldunes only uses water from all natural sources. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. Yeah. Is this yours, Mr. Eldun? Hey, that there's the heart and soul of Eldun's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon it's just gonna taste like noodles. Wow, it does taste, or er, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away from my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy. I'm begging you. <laughs> Bowl added to the court record. Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, don't forget, we can examine stuff from details. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's cut clean off. I wonder what's in there. Don't. There are bare wires hanging out. Let's see. Ah! Sneak! What? Are you okay? <laughs> Just a little joke. Don't scare me like that! You mean, don't shock you? Zap! <laughs> yeah, that. Um, there's paint there. I want to examine the paint, but apparently it won't let me. <laughs> it's the Elden Noodles mascot. Mr. Salty! He's so cute. It's not a very endearing mascot, is it? You know, come to think of it, it looks a lot like you, Apollo. Especially the red parts. Can I help it if I like red? <laughs> yeah, red's a very cool color. Yeah! Ooh, look! I love this little personal touches. Seems a shame to hide it on the bottom of the bowl. Huh? When I touched it, the paint flaked off. He must have painted it on by, his hand, er, by hand with warm, professional care. After buying the cheapest paint he could find with cold professional thrift. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look, a doggy. Good boy, good boy, Salty. I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Name's Spoon. And he's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little fiend. <laughs> Apollo. Let's find that stand soon for Spoon's steak! I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. I didn't notice the dog till now. Oh, he looks so sad. He's like, I need my salty noodles. She. <laughs> I need my salty noodles. Looks like they have a special offer going on. Three shots for the price of one. 
<gasps> Now's our chance, Apollo! Chance for what? I don't need any shots, thank you! Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business-minded. I just realized that was for the clinic and not for a bar. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that the clinic was just that part. No, it's all And then all the part this. to the side was for, like, a bar. <laughs> Three, Three shots! Three flu price. shots for the price of once. I only need one! <laughs> I'd understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. No, we're going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, no, I'm just sitting here. Move along. You're being weird. Y'all have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? <laughs> we need a little more info on this Maractus clinic. We could ask Mr. Aldoon. He's their neighbor and all. And we should check out that gar er, gar garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? <sighs> my thoughts exactly, Apollo. Yeah. That doorway sure is sparkly. The Maractus Clinic, huh? Looks more like a casino parlor than a hospital. That must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today. Mm hmm. Oh, hey. El Dune. Check out your bowl. You can tell my bowls are the mistress by the Mr. Salty logo. The mascot of El Dune's noodles. They come to the stand, they sit, they drink deep from that bowl. And then when they see the bottom, their face looks just like Mr. Salty's. Genius, no? Very high concept. Do people drink noodle bowls? <laughs> yeah. You have the noodles, and like, the uh, if it's like ramen, you have the noodles, you have the um, chashu, you have the onions and stuff. And then when you have the leftover broth, you can drink it, like soup. It's gross. To be honest, uh, especially I've tried, his. his is I've like, tried it to sounds drink like it. He's, you're drinking salt water. It, and that's basically what it tastes like when you drink the broth. Because I went to get ramen with like a couple of my friends a few, like maybe a month ago. So good. Mm. But the ramen broth was so spicy and salty. <laughs> this I is, this drink is why it. you stick to uh, the Panda Express orange chicken. <laughs> I don't know. Really, I have a friend who's obsessed with the orange chicken from Panda Express. I don't know why. I did eat it. It's very good. I would go there again and eat it. But, yeah. You can't fly a trade if you don't love the tools. Remember that. Yes, sir. Trucy has a fiend for professionals, clearly. I like how everyone knows her. Like, that's yeah. something that's kind of cool. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. Feh, probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. If anyone's at risk of having someone food poisoning, that police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor. Feh. Hmm. Not that I was surprised much. That doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. Feh. The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. Indeed. Just, well, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I, I'm glad we got to meet Little Plum. Little Plum. <laughs> She's the only good new character from this case. Really? I don't really like Eldoon that much. He's kind of funny. The weird pixie girl, f female Peter Pan, I don't really like. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see more of her eventually. We'll see more of her, yeah. Anyhow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're exploring the garbage. I mean, the garage. The garbage garage. The garbage garage. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to that. And maybe we'll be able to find a way into the park and see Emma Sky again. We'll hopefully. just, like, have to hop the fence. Like old bag. That's yeah. probably old bag. It Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Bye.